Killian Vodka on the Rocks Fragrance Review. Hey, what's up guys, it's Josh here. Today I wanna to do a little fragrance review on Vodka on the Rocks by the house of Killian. Now, Central Obsessions did send me a copy of this fragrance a while ago. I had never smelled the original. I do feel like I have some experience with this fragrance because it smells so, so similar to the Central Obsessions version. Um, it's a very peculiar fragrance. I guess in one sense, it kind of does smell like vodka on the rocks, but for me, it's just kind of hard to pin down. It doesn't really smell too much like any traditional notes. Like the notes that they listed are coriander, aldehydes, cardamom, rhubarb, lily of the valley, pink rose, ambroxan, oak moss, and sandalwood. Now, what caught my eye originally was that it had lily of the valley, ambroxan, and oak moss, and some sandalwood. So kind of seemed like it could have some fierce type qualities because I think one of the only fragrances that I've seen the note of Lily of the Valley was the original Fierce. And you know what's weird about this fragrance? It's it's very hard to describe. In one sense, it does smell like vodka on the rocks, but to me, it just, it smells like something, but it doesn't smell like a, like a cologne, like to me, right? And just right before this review, I picked up on the Fierce vibe. Oh yeah. I did not get this in Essential Obsessions version at all, I don't know why, but that makes me like this fragrance quite a bit more. It definitely seems like it's Killian's version of Fierce. To me, if it were to smell like any version of Fierce, and I don't know if people say this smells like Fierce, I don't know, but it kind of smells like a little bit like the newer versions of Fierce. The older ones, it's a little bit more musky, a little bit more on the fresh notes and just really in your face. This reminds me of more of like the 2010 type Fierce, but very, very high quality, of course. And yeah, I'm kind of blown away that I've tried this out. I set up the review. I literally spray it right before the review and it smells like fierce. That's crazy to me. So if I were to give this fragrance a rating, guys, I'd probably give it, because I smell fierce now, probably like an eight to an 8.5. Before I would have probably given it like a seven, 7.5. I don't know why that fierce note was, I just couldn't smell it before. I also tried multiple Killians, like one on this hand, one on this one, and I would never pick up the I would never pick up the vodka on the rocks. I'd always pick up the other ones. Now the other ones were like more of a projection. They did have higher projection. Fierce can have lots of projection, but at the same time, it's a fresh musky. So most of the versions are kind of like middle projection. But if you go to something like Dua's, it does get cracked out. So anyways, guys, I'll probably give it 8.5 for the smell. Uh, Likeability because of that Fierce vibe that I'm smelling now. I think Fierce is very likable to me personally. I would give it probably an 8.5 again. You know what I mean? It's not gonna be for everybody. I do think certain versions of Fierce smell better than this, but I think an 8.5. Now longevity, and projection is where it might take a little bit of a hit. Again, I didn't really smell this very much. I'd probably give this a solid 6.5. Again, I might need some more testing. It might go up a little bit. It might go down a little bit. Um, to me, seven's like right average. I'd put this just a hair below average. But if you've been following my reviews, if a fragrance is really bad, I'll rate it as low as like a four to a four and a half. So we're nowhere near that low or nowhere near even like a five. So it's just an average projector. So far, guys, I think this is a pretty interesting fragrance. Uh, if you're somebody who likes Fierce, it's definitely worth checking out. Personally, I would say Dua's Fierce is gonna be better than this if you're looking for a Fierce type vibe, but nothing really wrong about this fragrance. It smells good. I really do enjoy it, and it seems very, very high quality. So anyways, guys, Vodka on the Rocks. I really, really enjoy it. Secretly smells like Fierce to me. Am I tripping? Am I not tripping? Let me know down below. Have you smelled this fragrance? Have you not smelled this fragrance? What is the best fragrance by Killian? I should check that one out next. Anyways, guys, we're on the road to 50,000 subscribers and I couldn't do it without any of you guys help you guys are the best having a great day out here hopefully having a great day at home see you all in the next video peace